Good morning, everybody, and welcome to St. John's Clevedon, and welcome to all those people joining us from home on the internet. Um, we've got a wonderful service today, a wonderful mass. We've got three confirmations, which is wonderful, and welcome to all those people that haven't been to um, St. John's before. You're very welcome. We will have coffee after the service, um, so please stay around. We've got cake, and it's Celebration Sunday but also we've got our barbecue later on for those people that have bought tickets. But um, please stay for coffee afterwards and then we'll call you out to the barbecue when we're ready. Just to let you know that the first hymn is on this inserted sheet today and the confirmation service is within this inserted sheet. Okay, so just to help you follow what's going on. Um, I think that's it, everything. <laughs> My notices, thank you.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, peace be with you. And also, welcome everyone to St. John's. Three wonders mark this day. First of all, our celebration of the Assumption of our Blessed Lady. Secondly, we have our Bishop with us, Bishop Paul. It's wonderful to see you, Father. It's a joy to be here. And we have three of our number who will receive the Sacrament of Confirmation. But of course, we also have the sublime pleasure of meeting our Lord in the most holy sacrament of the altar. For all of these things, all these celebrations, we sing the Gloria. Catamundi, sushi pede precazione nostra. Ad exteram patris miserere nobis, quoniam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Iesu Christe, cum sancto spiritu, in gloria Dei patris, amen. Let us pray. Faithful to your promise, O God, you have lifted up the lowly, clothing with heavenly splendor the woman who bore Christ, our life and our resurrection. Grant that the church prefigured in Mary may bear Christ to the world and come to share in his triumph. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Sit and listen to the scriptures. Our 
first reading is taken from the book of Revelation. The sanctuary of God in heaven opened, and the Ark of the Covenant could be seen inside it. Now a great sign appeared in heaven. A woman, adorned with the sun, standing on the moon, and with the twelve stars on her head for a crown. She was pregnant and in labor, crying aloud in the pangs of childbirth. Then a second sign appeared in the sky, a huge red dragon, which had seven heads and ten horns, and each of the seven heads crowned with a coronet. Its tail dragged a third of the stars from the sky and dropped them to the earth. And the dragon stopped in front of the woman as she was having the child, so that he could eat it as soon as it was born from its mother. The woman brought a male child into the world, a son who was to rule all the nations with an iron scepter. And the child was taken straight up to God and to his throne, while the woman escaped into the desert, where God had made a place of safety ready. Then I heard a voice shout from heaven, victory and power and empire forever have been won by our God and all authority for his Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm, on your right hand stands the queen in garments of gold. On your right, right hand stands, stands the queen in garments of gold. The daughters of kings are coming among your loved ones. On your right stands the queen gold of Ophir. Listen, O daughter, give ear to my words. Forget your own people and your father's house. On your On right, right stands, stands the queen, the queen in garments, garments of, of gold. gold. So will the king desire your beauty. He is your lord. Pay homage to him. They are escorted amid gladness and joy. They pass within the palace your right hand stands the queen in garments of gold. The second reading is taken from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Death came through one man, and in the same way, the resurrection of the dead has come through one man. Just as all men die in Adam, so all men will be brought to life in Christ. But all of them in their proper order. Christ as the first fruits, and then, after the coming of Christ, those who belong to him. After that will come the end, when he hands over the kingdom of God the Father. Having done away with every sovereignty, authority and power, for he must be king until he has put all his enemies under his feet, and the last of his enemies to be destroyed is death, for everything is to be put under his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia.
a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and went as quickly as she could to a town in the hill country of Judah. She went into Zechariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. Now, as soon as Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She gave a loud cry and said, of all women, you are the most blessed, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Why should I be honored with a visit from the mother of my Lord? For the moment your greeting reached my ears, the child in my womb leapt for joy. Yes. Blessed is she who believed that the promise made her by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit exults in God my Saviour, because he has looked upon his lowly handmaid. Yes, from this day forward all generations will call me blessed. For the Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name, and his mercy reaches from age to age for those who fear him. He has shown the power of his arm. He has routed the proud of heart. He has pulled down princes from their thrones and exalted the lowly, the hungry. He has filled with good things, the rich sent empty away. He has come to the help of Israel, his servant, mindful of his mercy according to the promise he made to our ancestors of his mercy to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months and then went back home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. It is a privilege granted to a bishop that he can sit to preach, which is good in several ways, but most importantly, how does a father speak to his children? Does he stand over them, gesticulating wildly and projecting himself, or does he sit and talk to his children? I think he sits and talks, and this is our relationship one to another. The church is the household and the family of God and I am your spiritual father. So a father addresses his children familiarly. Today is the feast of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. That is, the taking up of Mary, body and soul, body and soul, into the glory of heaven. I'll come on to that in a moment. But first think of Mary as the very essence of discipleship. Mary is the first disciple of the Lord, and Mary is the best and greatest disciple of the Lord. Therefore, in the life of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we have here 
an example, a vivid and compelling example of our discipleship. What is discipleship like? To be a follower of Jesus Christ, to walk in his way. What does it look like? Look at Mary, the mother of God. And in today's gospel, there are three things which I think sharpen our focus so that we might understand better what it means to be a disciple of Jesus Christ, what it means to be more like Mary, and therefore more perfectly a true disciple of Christ our Savior. First of all, what does Mary do in today's gospel? Now, this gospel comes immediately following the annunciation, the announcement, by Gabriel, that the virgin is called to this highest human vocation to be the mother of the incarnate Savior. What is the first thing that Mary does when she receives the good news, and indeed receives in her womb the good news, the one who is the gospel, God incarnate? What does she do? What's the first thing she does? Who is listening? Oh, come on. She moves. She goes. Mary is the model of dynamic discipleship. The first thing she does upon hearing the angel's message and receiving the incarnate Christ miraculously, mysteriously in her womb, she goes. Does she want to keep this quietly and privately to herself? No. She wants to go. So she goes into the hill country of Judea, St. Luke tells us. She doesn't hang around. She moves. My friends, this is the essence of authentic and true and full discipleship. It is not static. It is not inert. It is not leaden, though I think in the church it has become so often. Not in this parish, of course. It moves. True Christian discipleship is inherently and innately dynamic. It cannot but go out into the world, into the hill country of Judea, if you see how I'm speaking. Mary moves. Let your discipleship, your followership of our Lord and Savior be a dynamic one. Don't be lumpen. Don't be leaden. Don't be inert. But move go out into the world. Why does Mary move? Well, if you have just received the good news, and here we're not talking about good news like, oh, it's, you know, it's a very British thing, good news, oh, the weather's going to be nice this week. They're not that sort of good news. No, that is good news. This is the very best news, the most unimaginably good news. Well, what does she have to do? She has to Share it. That's the second thing. She goes out into the world and she shares it. It is a curious fact that if any of you went, say, on holiday somewhere to the most astonishing and wonderful place that blew you away, it would be an astonishing fact if you came back home and you said, the first thing you said to yourself, I tell you what, I'm not going to tell anyone about this. I'm going to keep this astonishing experience purely to myself. It's a private matter, you know, very interior to me. Or if you want to see the best film you've ever seen in a cinema, or the best concert, you heard a symphony that you've not heard before, and it blew you away, and you come out of the concert hall with the adrenaline pumping, and you say to yourself, I'm going to keep entirely silent about this. No, you would share it, would you not? That is what the good does. It communicates itself. It can't help but communicate itself. Well, supremely so of the gospel. Mary goes in order to share the astonishing experience of the angelic visitation and the news that she is to bear in her womb God-made flesh. 
so too with your discipleship. And I say this to the candidates being confirmed today because confirmation is the sacrament of true and apostolic discipleship, a discipleship that goes out into the world. That's what apostolic means, rooted in the apostles and outward reaching, vigorously, energetically, faithfully. Our discipleship must be like that, not static, but dynamic, not private and personal. The world, the culture in which we live, wants you to keep it very quiet, thank you. Don't live your faith in the public, public realm. Don't bring your faith to public issues of common human importance. No, keep it private, thank you very much. Our culture wants to contain your faith, our faith, wants to contain the church, wants to trap it within its four walls. That is not Christian discipleship. Christian discipleship is lived in the public realm, is proclaimed in the sphere of public things, in the sphere of human society and life. And what happens when Mary goes to share this extraordinary news with her cousin Elizabeth? What is multiplied? Joy. Elizabeth greets her with joy. The womb uh, that contains, Elizabeth's womb that contains St. John the Baptist becomes buoyant with life as St. John, like David before the Ark of the Covenant, dances in the presence of the incarnate Savior. This is the third thing about your discipleship. Transmit and live an infectious joy. Receive the gospel anew with joy. Communicate it compellingly with joy. We are not stern Puritans and moralists who are world-denying in all respects. No, we are Catholic Christians who live out their vocation in the Church of England, and we communicate the joy of Christ's coming amongst us in the flesh. Let your discipleship overflow, bubble up infectiously with joy. Let joy characterize your followership of the incarnate Savior. And lastly, from today's gospel, what does Mary then do after the exchange, the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, the stirring up and multiplication of joy? What does Mary do? She sings Magnificat, this great canticle, this hymn of praise to God. My soul doth magnify the Lord. My spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. She praises God. Discipleship of the Lord Jesus Christ must be that also. It must be dynamic. It must be self-communicating. It must brim and overflow with joy. And it must find its perfection, its completion, its fulfillment in praise, in the liturgy of the church, in private prayer, in all of those habits of daily devotion. Do you have them? Do you pray every day? Do you do all those little things, those little rituals of devotion in your life that frame your day very subtly, very modestly, with prayer? Do you always pray before you eat? Do you make the sign of the cross when you get up out of bed as if you've been raised from the grave? Do you make the sign of the cross before you get into bed? The hope of eternal life as you approach the bed like you will approach the grave? Do you pray before meals? Do you sing a little grace? Especially if you've got little ones, children or grandchildren, sing a grace. Members of the choir, do you sing your Christian discipleship at home with your family? In little ways, in all of these things, your discipleship is enriched and deepened by little acts of prayer throughout the day. Make sure 
But your discipleship of Christ is like Mary's. It moves. It is eager to share itself. It overflows with joy and it is fundamentally rooted in prayer and praise. This is why Mary is held up to us as the very paradigm of Christian discipleship, the first and the best disciple of the Lord. And let me add one last thing. This Feast of the Assumption reveals to us the goal of Christian discipleship. Because today the church commemorates with unrestrained joy the entry into the perfect glory of heaven of Mary in soul and in body, that is, in the fullness of redemption. Mary, the first and the greatest disciple of the Lord, enters into the glory of heaven fully redeemed, both soul and body. This is the hope we have, my friends. This is the Christian hope of resurrection to full and eternal life in our Lord Jesus Christ. Which glory, which fullness is both in our bodies and in our souls, in the whole of who we are? Yes, your body is destined for glory. Yes, your body that grows old, that grows sick, that grows weary, that grows weak, will be glorified in heaven at the fullness of your redemption in Christ. Mary shows us the goal of Christian discipleship, radical glory in body and in soul. Your bodies are fundamentally important to God who created them and who will at the last redeem them and raise them up to radical glory in his presence. I think that's enough to be getting on with, don't you? Do not be timid disciples of the Lord, but be like Mary, ever blessed. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So now I invite Jody and Robbie and Cameron to come and stand here at the pavement. Make sure you have an order of service with you or you're going to be lost for words, literally. Okay, come up on the steps. The sacrament of confirmation about to be conferred upon you is the strengthening gift and grace of the Holy Spirit to live your discipleship at the highest pitch, fully, integratedly in your lives. The sacrament of confirmation confers upon you the grace so that you can both protect the faith that you have received for the valuable treasure that it is and proclaim the faith that you have received with an infectious joy. Have you been baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit? I have. Are you ready then, with your own mouth and from your own heart, to affirm your faith in Jesus Christ? I am. Beloved people of God, will you welcome these candidates and uphold them in their life in Christ. With the help of God, we will. Let us return to the source of things, the baptismal font of Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for, for us. 
Saint Michael, pray for us. All the angels of God, pray for us. John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Peter, Saint Paul, pray for us. Andrew, pray for us. Saint John, pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene, pray for us. Saint Stephen, pray for us. Saint Ignatius of Antioch, pray for us. Saint Lawrence, Pray for us. Saint Felicity, pray for us. Saint Gregory, pray for us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Stand, dear friends, and turn to face the place of your spiritual regeneration. I ask this of those to be confirmed to receive that sacrament, but I ask it of all of you as you renew your baptismal vocation in Christ. In baptism, God calls us out of darkness into his marvelous light. To follow Christ means dying to sin, and rising to new life with him. Therefore I ask you, do you reject the devil and all rebellion against God? I reject them. Do you renounce the deceit and corruption of evil? I renounce them. Do you repent of the sins that separate us from God and neighbor? I repent of them. Do you turn to Christ? I turn to Christ. Do you submit to Christ as Lord? Submit to Christ. Do you come to Christ, the way, the truth, and the life? I come to Christ. Brothers and sisters, I ask you now to profess together with these candidates the faith of the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. Do you believe and trust in God the Father? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe and trust in his Son, Jesus Christ? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Candidates, in remembrance of your baptism into Christ Jesus, your receiving of the sanctifying grace of God, make the sign of the cross in the baptismal waters. And that you, my dear brothers and sisters, may also recall your baptism into Christ Jesus. Receive this sprinkling of the lustral waters of your spiritual rebirth. Remember your baptism into Christ Jesus. Remember your baptism into Christ Jesus. Remember your baptism into Christ Jesus. 
Remember your baptism into Christ Jesus. Remember your baptism into Christ Jesus. Remember your baptism into Christ Jesus. Remember your baptism into Christ Jesus. Remember your baptism into Christ Jesus. Remember your baptism into Christ Jesus. Remember your baptism into Christ Jesus. Remember your baptism into Christ Jesus. Remember your baptism into Christ Jesus. Remember your baptism into Christ Jesus. Remember your baptism into Christ Jesus. Now the sacrament of confirmation is conferred upon each candidate in turn. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who has made heaven and earth. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Almighty and ever-living God, you have given these, your servants, new birth in baptism by water and the Spirit, and have forgiven them all their sins. Let your Holy Spirit rest upon them. The Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and inward strength, the Spirit of knowledge and true godliness, and let their delight be in the fear of the Lord. Amen. God has called you by name. He has made you his own. Confirm, O Lord, your servant Jody with your Holy Spirit. Jody, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you, Jody. Robbie, God has called you by name and has made you his own. Confirm, O Lord, your servant Robbie with your Holy Spirit. Amen. Robbie, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Cameron, God has called you by name and has made you his own. Confirm, O Lord, your servant Cameron with your Holy Spirit. Amen. Cameron, be 
filled with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And also with you. Defend, O Lord, these your servants with your heavenly grace, that they may continue yours forever and daily increase in your Holy Spirit more and more until they come to your everlasting kingdom. Amen. I think we have in our midst three candidates who have now received fullest initiation into the body of Christ, the church. Shall we give a holy cheer? Now let us pray for the church and for the world, and let us thank God for his goodness. God-fearing, that God will look on them from generation to generation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. For justice in all the earth, that with a mighty arm God may scatter the proud, cast down the haughty, and lift up the lowly. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the hungry, that they may be fed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who hunger for righteousness, that they may be filled with good things. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the distribution of wealth of the world, that none go hungry while others are surfeited. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the Jews, the descendants of Abraham, that may, they may be faithful to their ancient covenant with God and that we with them inherit the promises of God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who are sick and ill, especially those who have asked for prayer, remembering Jackie, Garth, Anne, Claire, Margaret, Julie, Pauline, Roy, David, Jane, Julia, Derek and Beryl, Alfie, Yvonne, Ron, Grace, Richard, and Mim. That they may receive healing and good health. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
for those who have died this last night and those who have recently died remembering Derek Holly Holmes and Mike Callow whose earthly remains are to be laid to rest in this place tomorrow and for those whose anniversary of death draws around now as we call to mind William Bill Richards. May they be in God's kingdom and rejoice with the saints forever. Rest eternal grant to them, O Lord. And let light perpetual shine upon them. For all the people of God, that with blessed Mary, the Virgin Mother of our Lord, and with all the saints, we rejoice as children of God, redeemed by Christ her Son. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The salvation power of our God and the authority of Christ have come. We proclaim the greatness of the Lord and we rejoice in God our Saviour, praising God in his Son, our Lord, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Merciful Father, Accept, Accept these, these prayers, prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, our tribute of homage, rise up to you, O Lord, and through the intercession of the most blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, may our hearts, aflame with the fire of love, constantly long for you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For today the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven, as the beginning and image of your church is coming to perfection, and a sign of sure hope and comfort to your pilgrim people. Rightly you would not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb, since from her own body she marvelously brought forth your incarnate Son, the author of all life. And so in the company of the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This 
is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death upon the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption as we offer you this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of the blessed and ever virgin Mary, the mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, the glorious martyrs, St. John, patron of this parish, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord. By whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be yours, O Almighty Father, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. It is the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to them that receive it. Behold, 
the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. The body of Christ. body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. body of Christ, the body of Christ, The body of Christ. 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 body of Christ the 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 body of Christ
body of Christ. The body of Christ. All ye wild beasts and tame, bless ye the Lord. The body of Christ. 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 The Lord Jesus Christ in his holy sacrament bless you. The Lord Jesus Christ in his holy sacrament bless you. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. body of Christ the 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 body of Christ. 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 The The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ in his holy sacrament, bless you. The Lord Jesus Christ in his holy sacrament, bless you. The body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ.
Let us pray. God most high, whose hand made bore the word made flesh, we thank you that in this holy sacrament of our redemption, you visit us with your Holy Spirit and overshadow us by your power. Strengthen us to walk with Mary, the joyful path of obedience, and so to bring forth the fruits of holiness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We sing our final hymn, Sing We of the Blessed Mother. Sing we of the blessed mother. Oh, in Sing we of the 
Please sit down. I published the bands of marriage between David Can, single of the parish of Holy Trinity Bridgewater, and Lucy Marie Ingram, single of the parish of Holy Trinity Bridgewater. They are here. It's very good to see them. Uh, if any of, I'm publishing the Bands of Marriage for the third time of asking, so it's your last chance. If any of you know any just cause or impediment why these two persons may not be joined together in holy matrimony, you are to declare it. Bless them, O oh God, and grant that, bearing each other's burdens and sharing each other's joys, they may abide in your love forever. Amen. Amen. And I, for one, look forward to their wedding in this church on the first Saturday of September. Now, it also happens to be a rather important wedding anniversary for Pauline and Adrian. Thank you very much for playing the organ this morning, Adrian, so splendidly. The 40th anniversary of your wedding anniversary, something sparkling to enjoy a bit later on, along with the card. So I'll give this to Pauline to look up. <laughs> Hearty congratulations. Let's give her a round of applause. Excellent. Well, it's all meant to be, you know. It's all meant to be. God has plans for every one of us. It also happens to be Gary and Sarah's wedding anniversary, but they've only done 29 years. So they've got to wait until next year for their bottle of champagne. But nevertheless, here's a card. Sarah hasn't left Gary. She's outside getting, getting the barbecue going. So that's a hint for me to thank everybody who's worked so hard to put this service together and also the sumptuous food that we're going to enjoy uh, as our annual barbecue. Thank you very much in advance to everybody. It's so wonderful to see you all here. Uh, some visitors, some people from All Saints, our affinity parish. It's just wonderful. So... Uh, enjoy the rest of the day. I think we've done our blessed mother due honour. Father, would you give us your blessing? Before I pronounce God's blessing upon you all and we all go away leaping like a calf from the stall, uh, there is someone that I would like to thank and who's distinguished presence among us, I would like to recognize. Very often parish priests spend much of their time serving and leading and ministering to and thanking and affirming and building up the people of Christ, but often themselves go unrecognized, or at least perhaps part recognized, for the extraordinary and sacrificial ministry of love that they exercise in Christ's name and in his very person amongst Christ's people. And on your behalf, but also on behalf of the whole Sea of Os Oswestry, I would like to thank you most affectionately and sincerely, dear Father, for your exceptional, distinguished, and Christ-hearted ministry in this place. You have built up the body of Christ here in confidence as well as numerically, and you continue to serve and sanctify them by your priesthood. We all thank you from the bottom of our hearts. <laughs> the 
The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. We beseech you, Lord, pour your grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of your Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion, may we be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, bless you. Almighty God, bless you. Almighty God, bless you. The Lord be with you. Let us bless the Lord. May the divine assistance remain with us always, and the souls of the faithful, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Happy feast, everyone. Happy feast. Shall we have a photograph? Photograph. We have a photograph.